Back to the French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber Mix to make a blue-grey shadowy colour and I'm going to apply this to pretty much the whole of the scene to build it up and give it uh, substance. Uh, that'll do me. Okay, it's all about giving shape to those rocks. Well, once again, I'm leaving a smattering of highlights, hopefully random highlights, and hopefully highlights that don't look like faces. Again, it doesn't matter if the blue-grey mix varies slightly. Because it's a natural geological subject, the more random it looks, the better. So I'm deliberately changing it every now and then, a little bit stronger, a little bit weaker. And one of the things I'm very keen to achieve here is, is this flow, there's a flow of the land and the, the only way, well not the only way, but in this particular case, the way to give it contours is to use the blue-grey shadows to suggest where those contours lie and to help exaggerate the flow of the land. Without it, because it's a snow scene, without it the snow will just look flat and we don't want it to look flat. We want it to look like it's got undulations and contours. Now these rocks, the little rocky bits here, I'm applying shadows to them but I'm deliberately trying to leave part of it untouched. Again, it's all about creating depth. Let's not forget the foreground rocks. The other thing about geological features like this is if you manage to get um, any sort of little back runs and things happening within it, that's actually generally quite good. You can never get a good back run when you want one. Back runs add to the texture of the scene. I'm going to work back into this, again still using the blue-grey mix, the French ultramarine and the burnt umber. I'm going to work back into this because it's still actually very slightly damp, so I'm hoping that it's going to go a little bit fuzzy. A back run is a cauliflower. Uh, you've all, it's happened to us all at some time or another, you put a wash on the paper and you get this little cauliflower appearing. What it is, is a wash that is almost dry. In fact, it can feel dry on the surface, but it's actually damp underneath. It's in a very dangerous position really because if you bring water or you bring paint to that that's got water in it what happens is it soaks through and into the moisture underneath and that carries the pigment and it pushes it out and it creates this cauliflower pattern it pushes it to the edge and it looks like cauliflower and that is what we call a back run or bleed back is another term used to describe it it happens um, I'm just adding a little bit of alizarin crimson to that. It happens to the best of us. It happens when you least want it to happen. The best way to deal with it is to try and build it into the painting, try and uh, incorporate it into the design uh, and not get too stressed about it. Other than that, there's not a lot you can do about them. Now, you can probably see there I've added a little bit of alizarin crimson to that just to give it a little bit extra warmth. Which is in keeping with the scene because there are warm colours in the sky, it's the, the reds are in the sky.
My studio sketch includes a couple of sheep. So I'm going to include a couple of these. The way to do this is to make sure that I leave a couple of roughly sheep shaped highlights. There we go, they can be sheep. Trust me on this. Right, just building up those rocks. This is um, all slightly unpredictable. But that's what makes it so exciting.